Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Or if you're new here, I'm Alyssa. I'm Garrett. And this is James. With chocolate a face. very chocolate face. We <laughs> are in Epcot today. And we actually just got in. It is 8.59. So the park mm -hmm. officially opens in a minute. But yep. they actually, early entry started at 8.30. We're staying off site. So we didn't, we weren't able to do early entry. However, they opened couple minutes before nine yeah to let to people kind of i think it's like a staged opening but yeah so we we've already gotten joffrey's yeah and we have a couple plans today uh but it's steamy this morning uh yeah. we're gonna our first stop of the day is gonna go on not Alyssa, spaceship earth <laughs> and we also have tim and rose with us Say oh hi. Alyssa's parents and they're gonna help take care of Chocolate, Chocolate face, face McGee. First ride's gonna be Spaceship Earth. It's a five minute wait, which is a walk on, literally a walk on. The books are saved, and with them are dreams of the future. In the meantime, here in Europe, monks tour endlessly recording books by hand. In 1450, the movable type printing press. The result is an incredible explosion of innovation we call the Renaissance. Please remain seated. Attention, you are now rotating backward for your return to Earth. Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your oh. future. You don't have a face, Garrett. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Or should I say, there you are. Future. You don't have a head. It's, it's, it's just, just me. It's just me. <laughs> you can meet Moana over here outside of the journey of water and the living seas. He's trying to figure it out. James loves Moana, but we he's not sure about it. It's Moana, buddy. He's like, why is he's she like, not I don't know. <laughs> I think, think he hears the music. Yeah. Bless you, baby. Bless you. Oh, bless you. <laughs> it's also warm. It it's is warm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, in, in typical Midwest fashion, it's not the heat that gets you, it's the humidity. Yeah, and that it's is just like extra wet. True. Hey, buddy, should we go on the seas? Should we go see Nemo? And the seas? The seas with Nemo, my friends, is a five minute wait, which basically means it's a walk on. Thank you. Please, the floor is moving. There's Ray. Whoa, what's that? What is that? A big fish. A big Literally just eating. Can you say manatee? Manatee. 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 Good job. That's what I look like in the pool. Oh, look at these fish. What are these? I think they're rockfish. That's a cool-looking fish. What kind of fish is this, you guys? It's, it's holding. It's got, like, claws. Look at it. It's... It literally has claws. Ah. What do you see? Whoa. Yeah, there's a big shark. Whoa. We are going to do Turtle Talk with Crush to get that on video. Okay. Octopus, yeah. What's that? Seahorse? Are you ready to talk to Crush? I am. James, are you ready to talk to Crush? Are you ready to talk to the turtle? He's tired. Dude. 
dude, half the time I've been a dad, I've just been like, whoa. <laughs> How many little dudes you got, Garrett? Only one. He's right here. Oh, you're just getting started. <laughs> That's awesome. You sound totally wrong. Dude. dude. Be good to the oceans. They'll totally be good to you. Bye-bye. It's so pretty. The the custodians here. here like do art on the sidewalks. Oh, okay. Have you ever seen them do the water art with no, the water I have brush? Not. I have not. You've I, never seen it? I have not. Oh my goodness. Do you, do you come to Disney? I haven't done Spaceship Earth. I, don't I haven't know. seen uh, Yeah, they said earlier that they had really never done Spaceship model. Earth. <laughs> okay, it's so So friends, we're not actually going on to Figment. We are going to the bathrooms around Figment because they're less traveled and hopefully cleaner. I'm gonna show you why the Figment bathrooms are so amazing. This is why. There's not a single person in here. Not a single person in these bathrooms. <laughs> later. Finally time for Frozen because little man's awake. Aren't you? Are we going to go see Elsa? Elsa? And Olaf? Time has passed. Uh, we are at Via Napoli. Just got some beer. Say cheers. James, do you want to cheers? Cheers. Yeah. Way to go, buddy boy. You want to take a drink now? He's like, I got to take a drink now. <laughs> So anyways, we are at Via Napoli in Italy. If you are unfamiliar with Via Napoli, it is in the very back of Italy in World Showcase, and they're known for their pizza, and that's what we, I feel like we come every single time we go to Epcot, at least with my parents, because they love Via Napoli, so that's where we're at. We started with some, like, bread, focaccia, focaccia. Got some bread <laughs> as an appetizer, and he wants more. My goodness. Grazie. Wow. So we got the quattro formaggi, right? Yes. With prosciutto on top. We got this last time and it was amazing. Highly recommend. This is huge too. It takes up like half the table. James, what is I love that? this. What is that? We got pizza. James, we got pizza. It pulled up and he was like, who <laughs> did?
All right, you guys, dessert has been had. Delicious, oh my gosh, chef's kiss. Just like the perfect lunch. Delicious pizza, delicious dessert. I'm sure we'll get more yummy treats later. Um, but we are now headed to America because it's 2.12 right now at 2.15. I'm sure we're not gonna make it for the actual opening, but we are only like a couple minute walk is Voices of Liberty. We have not seen them perform in a very long time. Voices of Liberty is basically like Disney's acapella choir group and they're beautiful. They sing beautifully, so we're gonna go check that out. Also, I don't know if we've shown you the crowds yet, but there just aren't any crowds. There are no crowds, which is amazing. We love that for us. In case you're wondering, Voices of Liberty perform in Liberty Theater, where the American Adventure Show is. So we are headed there. Let's go listen to some music. Hey friends, Alyssa in the future here. So unfortunately we had a little bit of an audio mishap on a bunch of our footage. <laughs> so we're just going to do a voiceover for this part. As you can see, we've made it back to the UK, the United Kingdom, and we are in the Winnie the Pooh gift shop. I absolutely love this gift shop. They have so many cute Winnie the Pooh things. So the real reason why we came back here though, Garrett, is for <laughs> the meat and greet. So back in Christopher Robin's bedroom, you can meet Winnie the Pooh. And a uh, super important note is your little ones need to have shoes on in order to meet him. Uh, <laughs> I know. So we ended up meeting him actually two times. Yeah. <laughs> because he couldn't like actually go up to him the first time. But it was so precious. Oh my gosh. Like look at him. I think like this is like the moment where we we're like, okay, we need to meet like all the characters. <laughs> Because he loved it so much. And he was saying his name, and Pooh was making all the kissing noises, and he just, he loved it. Even afterwards, he was like, um, can we go back again? Like, I want to go back again and More? see Pooh. <laughs> yeah, like, this is what he was saying. Like, I want to go back and see him again. So we jumped over to Rose and Crown real quick, got a snake bite and a harp. It was amazing and refreshing as always. At this point, we have now finally made our way over to the brand new area in Epcot, the Communicore Hall, the new plaza, all the things. So right now we're showing you Communicore Hall, which to be honest, it's really just a room with tables and chairs and air conditioning. I mean, is there anything else to add to that, Garrett? But it's meant to be a kind of a blank slate to host a lot of different things. So I'm excited to see what they do with it. But out in the plaza, they were doing the Encanto sing-along, dance-along. It was a vibe. It, it was, was amazing. It was so much fun. Basically, if you like the movie Encanto or anyone in your family likes Encanto, it's basically just like an Encanto sing-along. They sing, they dance along to the songs, they have cast members that come out and dance, but then also like later on during the show, they also had everyone else come out and like dance, which was fun. It was very interactive. and yeah, it um, was cute. And you can... Uh, walk around out there and it just sounds 
amazing. The sound I, is awesome. We were saying that we wish this area had more shade, though. Like, there's not, like, any, except for the stage area right there, there's, like, no shade. Off to the side of the stage is a booth called Festival Favorites, and I think it's going to be a rotating menu. But we got the cheese-stuffed uh, arepa with cilantro, slim, lime crema, and cotija. Whoo! I can't get Those it Those are words. <laughs> um, but it was really good. And then we also just got like a seasonal beer. I don't even remember exactly it which literally, one we got, but I think it was just one of the seasonal beers. I think, I think it was... have different ones each time. I think it was like hibiscus or something, and Alyssa wasn't vibing with it. Yeah, it Because it was colored. Fine. I was trying to remember what we were talking about during this clip, and I'm pretty sure we were talking about how it's crazy how we hadn't taken a nap yet, or like gone back to the room yet because at this point it was like middle of the afternoon normally we take a midday break and we were rallying and also if you're wondering where our parents are they actually were riding soren they had a fast pass for soren and we decided to just hang back because that's like my mom's favorite ride so we're just like drinking beer and hanging out basically this entire time that we're checking out this new area, James is taking a nap, and so we thought we'd jump over to the land. Uh, but you can't take strollers into the land. Uh, even if they're taking a nap. Even if they're taking a nap. <laughs> so we called an audible. We're saying, let's go back to the seas because it's air-conditioned. and We just wanted a place for him to sleep in the air-conditioning, and we thought we would go into the land because that's where my parents were. But it's very interesting. We've learned during this trip a lot of interesting places where you actually can't bring a stroller. So... <laughs> You'll see in the in the vlogs to come as well. All right, we have a lightning lane to go meet Mickey and Minnie at the new Communicor Hall. Let's see what it's called. I don't know if this is actually, so it's just called Mickey and Friends. Standby wait is 30 minutes. We have lightning lanes, so let's go do this. It is finally time. I don't know how it's taken us so long to do the journey of water with Moana, <laughs> but James is super into Moana right now. One of his favorite movies and it, all of his favorite characters are in Moana. So we finally decided at the very end of the day to do the journey of water with Moana. Each area is a different part of like the water movement cycle, I guess you could say. But uh, this area was an interactive waterfall. So as you run your fingers or hands through the strings of water, it plays sounds. Like some were like piano, some were strings. Yeah, and each one is like a different note. So yeah. As, as you go up or down, the notes go up or down. I mean, I'm not so sure if James... eventually I was like stringing the notes yeah. all the way across. And he's like, oh my gosh, I want to do that too. And I think he just really liked playing with like the laminar flow of okay, the water. But he also loves music. Yes. And he absolutely loved that area. So the wetland it has a dry path or a wet path. And the wet path is you walk through this little shallow flowing stream. And James really loves stomping in puddles. <laughs> so uh, super he, jazzed about it. He wanted to like keep bending down and just like touching the water because he could see it running across just this like slow stream running across the walkway. So it took us a couple of minutes to actually get him away from that area. Actually, like every single section, it took a while for us to move on to the next section. But he loved the spring because he got to touch the water more. So the interactive element of this is you raise your hand up or down 
and the water like comes to you. Yeah, as high or as low as you're doing it. So obviously when I was doing it, it was getting much higher. But then like when James would do it, it would be like all the way down at the bottom because <laughs> he's so tiny. The next section is land. And this is where there's another interactive water element is it has a waterfall falling. But as you walk through it, the water shapes around you. James didn't trust it until mom came in with him. He was like, what is happening? Do I have to actually walk through this? But it is kind of cool. It it's... turns off. I mean, it might drip on you, but. Yeah. Then the lake, oh, all star of the lake was this waterfall. He literally stood there the entire, like he could have kept standing there just looking at the waterfall. He wanted to get in. Like he was trying to reach his hand through the fence to try to touch the waterfall. <laughs> So thankfully, Alyssa started to record on her phone, and uh, she has audio. So. Who is that, James? Who do you see? Exactly. Who is that? Who Tafiti. Is that? Wow, that's so cool. Wow. Oh, up close and personal. Wow. Oh. My daddy. Whoa. What did you think, James? Was that cool or what? Did you like playing in the water? He's like, I don't know what just happened. Basically, every section that we were in with water, he did not want to leave. So I think he enjoyed it. And we decided to go back to Garrett's phone and lost audio. But this is us closing out. Of course, out. for our outro. <laughs> yeah. And we're saying, basically, it was a great day. We are very, very surprised that we stuck it out for the whole day. I mean, we did not stay until park close. Obviously, as you can see, it's still light out and we'll have the timestamps in here. But we decided to not do any of that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And we'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's a Disney duck. I don't want this duck to attack me. Oh, it's going for the food. Are we sitting on ants? Oh my god, why am I sitting on ants? <laughs> oh my ants. goodness. Bye, Disney Duck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs>